Hello everyone, uh, in this video we are going to prepare the steady state simulation of a simple gas plant for a dynamic simulation. So we need to add some details to the steady state simulation to make it ready for the dynamic simulation. Uh, one of the important details are valves. We need to add valves on streams uh, to let us restrict the flow and then give us the ability to control the flow and by that we can control different process parameters. So I'm going to go ahead and add valves on different streams. First, a valve on the feed stream. So we go and uh, place a valve on the flow sheet, then we use the brick connection uh, to detach the feed from the separator, then insert it into the valve, and we take out an exit is outlet stream from the valve and then hook it up to the separator number one. We're gonna go and rename the streams uh, to some proper name um, and also the valve. So the next step is to specify the pressure drop, drop through the valve. That could be done either in parameter or in rating tab. So here in the rating tab, I specify a pressure drop of 10 PSI for this valve. The valve is set as 50% open. The valve is a linear valve, uh, as you can see here. And then uh, the sizing method that we are going to use is this ANSI method, which is the basic method. If you have more information about the manufacturer, you can go and use the manufacturer specific methods. Okay, so we now hit size valve and size the valve for uh, this inlet feed valve. We go and repeat this procedure for other, other streams and we are going to add one valve to the outlet from separator 1. I'm going to rename this, this the outlet stream to a meaningful name and then I will, I will rename the valve as well. Then I go to the rating tab, specify a pressure drop of 20 psi for this valve. Then I size the valve. Similarly, I'm going to repeat this process for separator number two. I add a valve to the outlet liquid stream, rename the stream. followed by renaming the valve. Here I specify the pressure drop through the parameters tab. It's pressure drop of 20 PSI similar to the output for arm separator 1. Okay, so we are now ready to go to uh, the vapor phase. Uh, it's vapor stream that is coming off from separator 2 and add a valve, I, add, add, I add a valve there. I hook up the uh, vapor outlet from separator 2 to the valve and then I specify a name for a stream that is coming uh, out of the valve. I name it to, uh, I name the stream to 2 gas exchanger and I also rename the valve for this stream as well. Again, I specify the pressure drop, I leave the percentage opening as a, as a default value, and then I size the valve. So um, the valves are added. The next step is to size equipment, which is very important for dynamic calculation because uh, equipment have holdups that really affect uh, their performance in uh, dynamic mode. So I'm going to go and specify a vessel volume of 200 feet in the dynamic tab of the separator. Um, and then, so when, when I enter the volume, I automatically calculated diameter and height for me. Then I initialize, uh, for, for the methods, I initialize from the products for the startup condition. Now I go to the separator 2, and again, I specify a vessel volume of Again, 100 cubic feet, and then Heisys again calculates some default height and diameter for me. 
for the exchangers high is already calculated some default um, numbers for the sh shell and, and tube volume and i just keep it as these default values because i don't have any further information at this point then i go to the chiller and similarly we see that uh, there are some default values for uh, the dynamic simulation there i'll keep it i keep these values uh, at their default values so uh, here now we need to the third step is to specify pressure condition at the boundaries of this plant such as feed and output streams because in dynamic condition which is very very like the real world plant the streams just flow by pressure so we need to go to the dynamic tab for a stream that specify the uh, dynamic specification to pressure specification rather than the flow specification because that's more realistic and again for the liquid product i'm going to go to dynamic mode and then activate the pressure specification i'm going to repeat this process for also the liquid that's coming off separator two and also for the gas that is coming off from the whole gas plant so everything is uh, set and now we are ready to go to the dynamic mode uh, so we go to the dynamic tab here there's a feature called dynamic assistant which help us to catch mistakes or issues that might cause trouble in dynamic simulation I click on this button and then we can see that there are two issues that we have to take care of one is the specific pressure drop across the valves that I specified before and Heist is asked us to uh, remove that because and, and make that based on the inlet and outlet stream which I'm going to agree with that. And the third, second one is about the uh, flow resistance through the chiller, which I will keep this as a default value that high specifies for me. And now the bar is green and we are ready to go to the dynamic simulation. Thanks for watching.